Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop on below in the comments. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter in this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing and I'll let you be the judge and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the collapsible accordion description for product description on your Shopify product page by using the simplest way possible. Because I know some of the methods available for this is using meta fields and stuff and adjusting meta fields for this description and and set it into each meta field for that description. It can be complicated and confusing for people that are not familiar with uh, Shopify or meta fields particularly. In this video, I will show you the simplest way you can add the collapsible accordions for descriptions on product page without having to deal with meta fields or coding or any of that. And it's very clever way and it's very simple way. And I did spend some valuable time to discover this trick. If you guys like it and if you think this saved you time, Help me out pressing that like button, I would really appreciate it. Or just wait until you see, then I'll let you be the judge again. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new down team and each video I add small custom adjacents. By the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, all, uh, and Amazon and Etsy, all in one carousel and it's filterable. If I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and the others. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Come on, show up, here it is. As you can see, you can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to, returning visitors, first time visitors, and customizing the behavior for it, when should open and how long the time between each notification and the colors and so on, of course. And yeah, by using your own custom code, no applications involved and many many more I cannot mention all of the video otherwise you will be bored. So let me quit talking here let me show you how to add a collapsible accordion to the product description without using any meta field or applications or any of the complicated stuff it's very very simple. So the first thing we're going to do is let me access by the way I will start scrolling now so if you saw anything in the Shopify store it means it's already done with one uh, one of my previous videos because I don't remove the changes. So if you saw anything here it means it's already done. Just check out the channel and you will see how to do it. So let me scroll down. I need to access a product so we can do demonstration on. And I have one product here. I think uh, it suits the purpose. I'm not sure if this one. Yeah, this one. This one, as you can see, this has a long description. I want to make this description collapsible. So each like uh, paragraph will have will be collapsible. I will show you how to do this and it will work across all your products and at once. You don't have to set like different meta fields again for different product descriptions and so on. No, it will just one code will do this across all your products and automatically, not manually. Just wait and you'll see for yourself. So the first thing we're going to do, we will do the trick, come back and see it in action. By the way, all these things you see on the product page in here, we did them in tutorials with no applications involved, even like a, a wish list system without an application. What else do you need, man? I apologize, I'll quit now. So as I said, we'll keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back to Shopify down uh, dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on online store and click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, you see this uh, assets folder right here. This is exactly what we need. Simply click on it, then click on new asset. Just like this, and you will see this prompt right here. Click on the left tab that says create blank file, click on it. Then from here, select GS, which stands for JavaScript. So simply this one, click on it, GS. And in the file name, 
just so you don't get confused, scroll down the description box and you will see a link completely free again. Open it and it will take you to this website right here. And after that, scroll a little bit down and you will see the name in here, as you can see. Simply copy it so you don't have to be mistaken or something. Copy the name without the .gs. That's very important. Do not add the .gs, just the name. On how dash description dash accordion. Make sure to copy this name, otherwise it will not work. Get back in here and simply paste it in here. That's very simple, right? Click on done. And after that, we'll create a blank file. We need to paste in some JavaScript code. And where are you gonna get that JavaScript code? You need to hire a developer. I'm just joking. <laughs> in here, on my website again, scroll down a little bit and click on get the code, download the file. It's completely free. No pay please, nothing like that. Completely free. And after you downloaded the file, open that GS file with any text editor on your computer. Then copy the whole code inside it. Then simply paste it in here. It's very simple, right? Download the file, open it with any text editor, copy the code, paste it in here, make sure to copy the whole thing, then click on save. Yeah, now we're almost done. Now the next step is, you see the scroll up a little bit and you will see the search bar right here at the top left corner. Simply click on it, then type in team, and you will see team.liquid. As you can see, make sure to access this file, team.liquid. Click on it, a bunch of code will show up, Click again on the code just like you want to write something and don't write anything. By the way, uh, I keep simplifying the steps. So even if like five years old, you can still do this. You can just follow me in the steps and you still do this. So click on the code just like you want to write something, don't write anything. Then on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, click on Control F. I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And this one will help us find a particular section on this team.liquid file. And simply type in here forward slash, just like you see, body. Just like you see on the screen, forward slash body. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. It will highlight that part on the code, as you can see. Let me click the, uh, let me close this, sorry. Then we need to create some space above forward slash body and before forward slash body. That's very important. Make sure to create the space above and before forward slash body. In my case, the last thing above it is a script, a closing bracket for script. Simply click front of it like this and hit enter on your keyboard. We have a new space to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? No, you don't have to hire a developer. Just get back to my website in here. And here is the code as you can see. Simply click on this icon right here, click on it. Then get back in here. Then simply paste it above forward slash body. That's very important, above forward slash body. Paste the code in here, that's very simple. Then click on save. Now we're done, not yet. Just not yet. Now, get back to uh, the product page. Uh, like, the pro and in my case, I said I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna use origami, origami. Here is this product, no, origami, sorry. Here is this product. So, there is one last step you need to do, which is, so, as you can see, this one, uh, the heading for the this description is heading three. As if I click on it, there is heading one, heading three, uh, heading two, heading three h3 make sure so the title for the tab or the uh, the heading for the accordion or for the expandable tab or collapsible tab will be the h3 that's very simple so your product description the one that you want it to be the heading for the collapsible tab make sure to select it then set it as h3 that's very simple right then the text below it, the text below the H3, which is this one right here. Why it doesn't want to select it? Come on. Here, this one. So this one will be the content for the accordion or the collapsible description tab or tab, sorry. So this one will be the content for it. And the H3 will be the heading or the, the, the title for that uh, tab. And the same as the others. This one, as you can see, is heading three. And this one, is heading three. So make sure to structure content that you want it to be displayed as a collapsible accordion or a collapsible description. Make sure to structure it like this. The title for the, the tab or the collapsible tab will be H3, just like you see. And the paragraph below it, which is paragraph, make sure to set it as paragraph, as you can see. What is it? Uh, I don't see it here, Tom, at the top, sorry. Paragraph, make sure the content below the heading is set to paragraph and the title is set to heading tree. 
Let me show you that so you get the idea. Now it says elegant origami artisty. This is time timeless symbolism and premium sterling. Uh, yeah, sterling total. So let's just get back in here. Here they, here they are, as you can see. Let me reload the page and see. Yeah, check it out now. As you can see, if I close this, it closed. Timeless symbolism. If I click on it, it will expand to the description. It has this cool animation. As you can see, if I click on it, it expands the description. And same for the other one, versatile sci-fi. I click on it, it expands the description. If I close it, it will close them back again as you can see and it has this nice arrow if i click on it the arrow will be more moving towards the, the other side so that's all you have to do just go to the description set the heading for the accordion or the collapsible tab as h3 and the paragraph below it will be the content below it and so on for the others that's very simple if you don't want the description to be triggered by the collapsible uh, accordion simply set it something else other than h3 that's very simple. And that's how you add a collapsible accordion description to your products without having to deal with meta fields and applications and so on. As you can see, it was very, very simple and I did spend some time to figure out. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment. I also reply to each comment. So if you have any help, drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. But for now, I take my job, it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.